That one stings. But let's be honest, ladies and gentlemen, it's great to be alive. Who in their wildest dreams would think that the country around me, Mackenzie Country, the Tikapo Canals, hosts some of the biggest brown and rainbow trout here in the world? This also kickstarts the series, which sees me going around the country, fishing with our local Akuma legends in every nook and cranny, and also supported by your local hunting and fishing store. So, why don't you wrap your optic nerves around the distribution channels of Akuma, strap on, strap in, and enjoy the eyeball pleasure. Thank you, Granddad. Twizel, also known to the French early settlers as Twizel, founded in 1968, population of 1700 human beings, and also the birthplace of some of the biggest canal dwelling monsters known to mankind. Let's be honest, one of the greatest fisheries in the world, freshwater fisheries that uh, boast massive numbers and sizes of brown and rainbow trout, and also the elusive salmon. And a man, come with the man, come with the hour. Ants, how are you mate? You're an absolute connoisseur when it comes to fishing for these river dwelling monsters, mate. And uh, let's be honest, you've wrapped your hands around some absolute thumpers in your time. You, mate. And some trout as well. So, a uh, bit of snow today. Are these the ideal conditions? You, yeah, mate. So, uh, as you see, yeah, definitely a bit of snow around. Um, let's put on the weather for you. It's, um, yeah, it's perfect conditions today for it. No wind. You know, a wee bit of sun coming, come burning through there now. And, yeah. Um, yeah, we'll get into it. Decent bit of flow and... We're gonna get you some uh, get you some good fish today, mate. <laughs> well, I bloody hope so, mate. That's why we pay you. Do you to crack into it? Yeah, well, mate, I'm just warming up my casting hand. I tell you what, it is bloody freezing down here, horse. <laughs> Alrighty, okay, let's show us, mate. Uh, what are we doing? So right. you flick it off there. So essentially, yep. Obviously, you've casted a fishing rod before. Bloody oath. Bloody oath. Flip the bail arm, have a cast. So we want to aim for about three quarters of the way across the canal there. Nice little whip there as well. Like that. Didn't see where it made it into the water, but neither did I. But that's okay. And yeah. then. We want to walk with it straight away, so we don't want to. We don't want our line to drift in front of us because it'll create a slack in our line. Yeah. And once that rig drops down to the bottom of the canal, there, you should feel it. Feel your sinker tapping along the bottom. What kind of bites are you feeling? Is it just like you know, if you're out there in the salt water, like a snapper bite? Is it heavy? Is it is it light? No, mate. Bite? So it, at times it's very very light. So that the you know the fish will only nibble or nibble or suck on the old eggs, um, yeah. and they won't actually they won't actually smash them hard like of a lure or a soft bait or anything like that. No, just take it easy, mate, and whiff her across. Oh, where am I? Just down by the cameraman here. Do you do it? Well, <laughs> we might need a bit of work on that casting, mate. <laughs> what you Maybe let go of it. We'll wind that one in. That didn't really go to plan, did it? Uh, it's quite embarrassing in front of the guide, um, but first cast of the day can only get better from here. Right, Ants, we'll do another go, eh? Yeah, okay. Oh, fuck. Yeah, Power that's, lines. That's a bit better, mate. Where are we? We're about three quarters of the way across. So you start walking now, mate. Yeah. So can they just hook themselves though? Like, or do you have yeah, to? Yeah, so often they'll come eat it, turn, and you, and you know, they'll hook themselves. Yeah. Quite delicate though, eh? This, just mm. the, the relationship with your finger and the line. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. I feel, yeah, you pretty much feel the majority of your bites and everything through your, through your line. Right, head to the other side. Get this one in. Jeez, it's cold, boys. Tell you what, we've got something else. What are they? Glow bugs, mate. Yep. Glow bugs. They're essentially what we're using here in the canals. Fish are, fish are feeding hard on them, essentially imitating a artificial fish egg. This time of year, winter obviously, a bit of snow around. Spawning yep. season for the fish. Hopefully we'll crack into some, some good fish on these. Yep, we're on to a fish. Yes, boy. It's not very big. This is just a wee, wee salmon by the looks of it. Any of the fish? Or is that actually a wee rainbow? It's a little rainbow, mate. I saw that in the water. I could have told you that. It looks wee like rainbow. it's just come out of the bloody womb, to tell you the truth. That is, uh... Future's 30 pounder right there, yeah. mate. Um, so we'll send him home. Just like that. Let him get back to it. We'll pull him in. 20 pounder. What do we got here? Oh, wee brown trout, mate. 
Oh, nice. Good to tick that off. I thought a bad little size, that one. Yeah. Stunner. We're getting bigger than that, though. Jeez, you're taking some line, is this like a... Crank it up a little bit. Let me just feel that drag on that, man. Yeah, we go a wee bit tighter than that, I think. Oh, well. Rainbow. Rainbow, mate. Got him. Hey, you little beauty. Little beauty. Look at that. First freshie. First freshie. It's not a bad size, is it? What is that? Oh, it's about four pounder. Pound and a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Catch and release. Maybe get. Oh, f oh wait. Well, that was a bit of a fail, mate. Yeah, that was your fault. Yeah, yeah it was. Nice fish to start off with. But hey, oh, mate. Geez, sorry about that. This is actually my first first time catching that. So. Well, there you go. Nice little freshie. Nice little rainbow what? One pound? One pounder. <laughs> Catch and release. Oh nice. You just don't, yeah, you just don't handle my fish next time, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'll let you do it, mate. Yeah, so. Sounds good. I was gonna get a photo with it, you know. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, first fish. No proof. Yeah. No proof now. Yeah. I'll show my granddad that. So. Um, Jacob's been giving me a bit of uphill, saying, hey mate, you, you don't look like a fisherman. You win your old your granddad's turtleneck that he passed away in. Yeah. Man, it's my lucky charm. And I've just got myself my first brown. It's not big, but the boy's on the board. Jacob, let's be honest, mate. Uh, obviously a bit of a dent to your ego. I've got two on the board as well, which is yeah. which is great for me, you know, great achievement. Yeah, you shored up to you, mate. You, um, you know, you've got a rainbow and a brown for yourself as well yeah. as me. Um. So uh, what's what's on the agenda? Uh, I think we might uh, change up spots now. Yeah. Um, Get away from these wee buggers, and we'll go. Um, we'll go target some bigger fish, I think. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. Well, please. Sounds good, mate. Yeah. So the team decided to have a bit of a break, fill the gut bags with some food, and uh, now we find ourselves at the Ho Ohau Sea Canal. So a uh, bit of change of scenery, and uh, Jacob, obviously a bit different. We're not going to be drifting the eggs here, are we? No, mate. Um, we're going to change it up. We're going to throw some lures on, yeah. some soft baits, and. Um, See if we can target ourselves as salmon. Um, the egg drifting was just a wee bit slow for us. You know, we didn't get anything, anything too big or anything this morning. So we'll give that a break for now and get onto some lures, some soft baits, and um, yeah, throw some metal around and see, see what we can do. Because the current's obviously flowing from left to right here. It's yeah. Not a whole heap. Um, quite, quite mild flow really. Yeah. Um, so we'll just cast up on a wee bit of an angle. Yeah. And the first cast you do, you just want to count in your head how long it takes for your lure to hit the ground yeah. at the bottom. So you'll cast out, um, flick your bail arm over, put your finger on the line again. Yeah. And then you should feel uh, when your lure hits the ground. And then from then, take a couple of seconds of how long it took to hit the ground and then start winding at, at that point. So you want to be winding uh, really, really closely along the ground. Like just a nice steady wind, nothing too fast. Is that on the ground? Yeah, I see. Oh, shit. So you want to flick that bail over, mate? Yeah, just flick that and just wait wait for it to sink down. Well, it's obviously the right to, you know, to listen to the guides, the guys that have got, you know, 5,000 Instagram followers, you know. What the shit? It means nothing. You always listen to the old guy at the bar telling you to use the hoo-hoo grub from last night, so. So I was at the local watering hole last night and ran into a good rooster who was on his deathbed named Rogie. Told him what we were up to, targeting these big models of uh, trout, fish and salmon. And he said, man, I want to give you a little bit of a secret before I die. He goes, take this map. And he goes, go and find some pine forest gold, the hoo-hoo grub on the fifth hole here at the local golf course. He goes, don't tell anyone. But I've come down here and I'm swinging the ax into this old deadwood to find the hoo-hoo grub, also known to the South Africans is the ho ho, and also to a small little family on the west coast, it's known as breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Bon appetit. I've obviously got the, the pine forest gold here. We're going to go down here and sink these as baits and see what kind of monsters are lurking down on the bottom of the canals. Hung, drawn, and quartered. <laughs> It's nice and juicy, geez, a bit of juice in there. Watch this space. Oh. <laughs> it's 
truth, you would not believe it. <laughs> OLC Cray. Oh, well, throw a bit of drag on that. Half body as well, which is obviously it's still growing. Yeah. Uh, plenty of good. Plenty of growth. Uh, beautiful carcass on it. And uh, oh, I'm looking forward to frying that up, actually, <laughs> to tell you the truth, you know. Probably don't taste the same as the, the ones you find in the ocean, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, uh, here for our third location at the end of the day, uh, the Tikapo Canals. Oh, how wasn't really delivering the goods, so rumour has it there's a few whispers that a few salmon have been caught around these, um, what are they, the cages? Yeah, salmon farms. Salmon yeah. farms. And so uh, we're just getting a couple of softies out and lures and, and trying our luck. But, uh, yeah, it's been a bit of an off day, eh? Yeah. Uh, we've kept the finger on the pulse. We've tried everything, chucked the chick, uh, kitchen sink at it, but um, just no luck thus far. So hopefully the tide turns soon. Twice. Just keep that same, when you, when you get like that, just keep the same constant one that you've been doing. Oh, yeah. And they'll, and you, and they'll just keep following. See what I mean though, like you, you can you can go all day with like bugger all fish and then all of a sudden yeah. it's just all on. Oh, jeez. <laughs> How close is that? Look at that. That's, uh, That's the money spot too. Let that sink <laughs> down. That's perfect. Straight across the back of the cage. Yeah, but like, who's swimming out there to... <laughs> Try and hook it on the cage when it, when it does it. <laughs> Mate, it was a perfect cast, wasn't it? It's the back of the cages. Oh yeah, it's a nice salmon. It's a good eater, mate. Yeah, mate. We'll get that net, we'll get that net for you, eh? Help me. So just play them out, mate. No rush. Come up, you bastard. So when he does come into the bank, just try to keep that rod really quite high. Yeah. So I can get, so it keeps his head up, so I can get the net underneath him. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep, oh, hold oh, up. Sorry, horse. Couldn't see you. Got him. Got him, yes. Great teamwork there. I'll tell you what, mate. It's a beauty salmon. That's a good eater. Is it? Yeah. I wouldn't know. I've never caught one. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than the, the one pounder ones that we were getting this morning, so. Yeah, mate. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, horse. <laughs> oh well, mate. Thoughts nice on salmon. That? What do you reckon? Yeah, well, we've completed the trifecta. Uh, great cast to the corner. Perfect cast to the uh, corner, mate. Boat Couldn't get much better. Boat and Barrow would have been happy with that. Get to touch, and uh, it actually did deliver. So the boys are we're eating. We're eating tonight. Yeah. Yeah, mate. Good and stuff. Under your great guidance, which is good. You've done well, mate. You picked it up really quickly and uh, nailed the fish, eh? Oh, I appreciate happy it. Happy with boys. that. Yeah. Good stuff. Let's go again, eh? He's all. Yeah, it's been great. Yep, fish. He's on. What I like to do when I'm guiding, I like to come behind and just make sure that, oh my gosh, this is a peeling back line. That's a good fish. You just watch out for that rose gold. Whoa. Mate, that's just a little pipsqueak that, eh? It's just got some good, it's a small dog. Bit of fight in it. Just slap it in the net, will we? Yes. Just like that. Just like that. We go again. We go again. Well done, Herb. Pretty good. Oh well. To be honest, I don't like to. You know, I like to boast about my my victories, but <laughs> just a lot. I think you might have outdone me here, but right, mate. So we've uh, both done the trifecta today. Yours is a wee bit bigger than mine. You... <laughs> I hold it out here a bit. Brilliant eating fish. Yeah. It's like prime condition, mate. It's what you want. Yeah. It's um perfect. It'll, uh, I'm sure you'll make use of that tonight. But yeah, I think we all will. Absolutely, mate. A few laughs. Well, a Good couple of laughs, many laughs. Many laughs, yes. But we're not over yet. Hey,